In this video, I will show you how to fix the black screen in Roblox. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, I'm currently on my desktop. Now there's two steps in order to do this. And the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come to your search box in the bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and give that a click and then just go ahead and type Roblox. Next, what you want to do is un underneath best match, you're gonna see your Roblox player. So what you wanna do is right click onto this and then click onto open file location. From here, what you're gonna to want to do is, if you look at the top, you're gonna to get this kind of address bar. Um, so this is the actual location. So what you wanna do is actually right click onto this and you wanna click onto copy address. Next, what you want to do is come down again to your search bar and in the search box this time, you wanna type Windows Defender Firewall. And then go ahead and open up your Defender Firewall, which again should be appearing underneath best match. So this is going to look similar to this and what you want to do from here is if you look to the left hand side you should have an option which says allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall. So what you want to do is click onto this and then from here what you're going to want to do is just come to the top and click onto the box which says change settings. Now what will happen is you'll see a box appear which says allow another app. So what you want to do is click onto this and that's going to bring up a window that's going to look like this. So from here if you look at the path, if you look to the far right of the path you've got this browse button. So if you go ahead and give that a click and then what you want to do is in the file location again up here we want to right click and then click onto paste to paste our file location for Roblox. And what you want to do is just get rid of the exclamation marks if there's any exclamation marks at the start or if there's any in between. So you can see we've got these exclamation marks after Roblox. So that looks good to go. So now what we're going to do is just, so I've double copied this. So I'm just going to get rid of one of these. And then what you're going to do is hit, hit enter. And so that's going to bring up the Roblox player app. So what you want to then do is double click onto the app and then just go ahead and click add. And what you want to make sure is that the private and public boxes up here are both ticked. So if they're not, just go ahead and tick them both and then click OK and you should be able to play Roblox without the black screen. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.